Right guys, so let's now take a look at the long run average total cost curve. So when it comes to our long run average cost curve, it really traces the relationship between the lowest attainable average total cost and the output when factor inputs are varied. Now remember we said there's an important distinction between the long run and the short run. Within the short run we're looking at where at least one factor of production is fixed of course. In the long run we're looking at the fact that all factor inputs are variable. So we can see this here. Factor inputs, land, labour, capital, even the enterprise that's actually used can all be varied in the long run. So that is, you can move to a different site, you can utilize better machinery, you can increase your labor force and so on. Uh, now, this is derived directly from the short run average total cost curves. Now, previously we had considered four different scenarios based on four different plants within these cost curves that we've been looking at. Uh, now, I've just drawn these, uh, each of these cost curves out just to symbolize the actual relationship that each of them had with one another. Now, therefore, going back to our definition of what the long run average total cost curve is, it traces that relationship between the lowest attainable average total cost. So each of these actually represents a short run average total cost where one factor of production was actually fixed and that was of course the actual plant and therefore the capital good or the machine uh, that was actually being utilized. So then we were able to actually increase the number of machines that we used and as we do so well we can see that we gradually lower the actual costs of production. So if we want to trace these lines through we can then actually illustrate at an, our uh, long run average cost curve. Now I've just smoothed this over really just to uh, just to really go over what otherwise would be a scallop shape on our uh, long run average cost curve uh, and by doing so we can see that we attain a lowest um, lowest cost point of production around about here and then of course the average total cost curve uh, begins to rise uh, as the cost of producing additional outputs experiences uh, decreasing returns to scale. So there we go, it's nice and straightforward that uh, it just utilizes each of those independent short run average cost curves and by tracing those through we can actually then determine a long run average cost curve and that would be LRAC whereas all of these would be short run average total cost curves. Great stuff guys, I hope that's useful, see you next time.